Hey guys, welcome back to Barnes' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve a multi-step equation. So in our previous two videos, we learned how to solve a one-step equation and a two-step equation. So this is pretty much the same concept, except there's more steps to it. So let's go ahead and do an example. So let's say that we have the equation 4x minus x plus 5 is equal to 15. So just from looking at this, this might seem like a very complicated equation, but it's really not. Because all you're doing is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So we know that in an equation, we want to find the value of x. So the first step that you need to do when you're um, solving a multi-step equation is that you want to combine all like terms. So like terms are just terms that have, like for example, they have the same variable. So in this case, we see that we have 4x and we have minus x. They share the same variable and so we can combine them. So we know that 4x minus x, now x, if it's alone, that it's a, means it's the same thing as 1x, okay? So 4x minus 1x is 3x. So now what we're left with is 3x plus 5 is equal to 15. So we just basically simplified the side, so now it's easier for us to solve. So now, as you can see, it has become a two-step equation, and we know how to solve a two-step equation, right? So remember, you have to add or subtract first, and then multiply or divide. So we need to do inverse operations. So we see that in the inverse operations is just addition and subtraction go together, and multiplication and division go together. So for example, if there's addition, you'll do subtraction. If there's subtraction, you'll do addition, and so forth. So in this case, um, 3x is being added to 5. So if you want to get rid of the 5, you have to do minus 5. And remember that whatever you do to this side, you have to do to the other side. So if you do minus 5 on both sides, we know that positive 5 and mi negative 5 cancel each other out. And so therefore, we are left with 3x is equal to 15 minus 5, which is 10. So if we, now we have... 3 being x being multiplied to 3. So if we want to get rid of that, we're going to have to divide because we know the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So if we go ahead and divide 3x by 3, we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. So x, we know that 3 and 3 cancel each other out, so x is equal to 10 divided by 3. Now you could go ahead and do the division and make it into a decimal. But usually, you can just leave it as an improper fraction, as long as it's simplified. So 10 over 3 is in its simplest forms. <clears throat> so our answer is x is equal to 10 over 3. OK, now that we've done our first example, and this one was pretty simple one, OK? So let's go ahead and do a more complex equation. So let's say that we have 2, and then in parentheses, we have 3x plus 5. So close the parentheses, minus 3 is equal to 9. So in this case, we have the distributive property being applied to this because we're going to have to distribute the 2 to 3x and positive 5. So if we go ahead and distribute it, that means we need to multiply it by 3x and we need to multiply it by the 5. So we know that 2 times 3x is, we know 2 times 3 is 6, and then we bring down the x with it. So we get 6x. 2 times 5, positive 5, is going to be positive 10, minus 3 is equal to 9. So bring everything else down. So now we've simplified our equation. Now once again, we need to combine like terms. So in this case, we have positive 10 and negative 3. So we know positive 10 and negative 3 is the same thing as 10 minus 3, which is 7. So we get 6x plus so because it's a positive 7, because we take the sign of the greater number, so we have plus, and then 10 minus 3, 7, is equal to 9. Now, once again, we have a two-step equation. So first, do addition or subtraction. So we're going to do, um, we have addition in this case, so the inverse of addition is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. So we're left with 6x is equal to 9 minus 7, which is 2. Okay. Now, the last step is that we have to multiply or divide. So in this case, six is, x is being multiplied by 6, so we're going to have to divide by 6. 
So both sides, oops, okay. So both sides are going to be divided by 6. So x is equal to, once again, you don't need to change it into a decimal. You can always just simplify the fraction. So 2 over 6 simplified is 1 over 3, and that is our final answer. So x is equal to 1 over 3. And once again, if you want to check your answer, you can always go ahead and substitute your answer into the variable, and you will still get the exact same answer. And so that's it for this video. And then once again, multi-step equations are pretty much the same concept. It's just that there's more steps involved. So once again, if I go through the steps, first step is that you need to simplify. So either you're going to combine like terms, or you might just have to do the distributive property before that. Second step is that you're going to do addition or subtraction, and remember, use inverse operations. And third step is you're going to do multiplication or division, once again, inverse operations, and you will get your answer. So there's only three steps to this, okay? And so thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!